gold has started the week on a slight bearish note it is seen now the lows at around 1986 1987 levels and in my weekly review and specifically in my live webinar i had shared the region what to expect from gold on the first couple of days and it is starting to behave in the similar way so now can we expect gold to continue with the drop from here or is it going to bounce back the day has just started which position you should take in order to profit trading gold today we will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end i will give you the trading levels and strategy to watch out for watch till the end if you are new to the channel do subscribe to the channel and get the latest updates the next update on gold will be released before the us session was that as well let's now see if you look at the hourly chart see higher highs higher lows are seen here this time it is trying to break this uh, retracement or a bullish channel it is trying to trade bearish from the current i'll be now looking forward to 1983 levels below 1983 is where slight bearishness can be expected where we might look at look gold to drop towards 1978 80 as the first target and below that 1970 475 now see 7880 first resistance zone 7475 the next and below 1970 we can say major bearishness is going to prevail we are we are going to look at 1960 levels and in fact it can drop below those levels on the hourly charts if you look at see that this was the rise in gold and it has erased all the gains it has come to the same level so far if you look at stock asic this is trading bearish looking downwards macd has also crossed over looking downwards trying to stay bearish if you look at this formation see the drop retracement and again is starting to continue on the downside let's see if it continues rsi is also trading with a slight bearish bias coming to two hour now on the two hour chart see first of all the top here and the bottom here are beautifully aligned that is why i say a selling entry is only below 1983 levels while one can buy here at 993 levels beyond 1993 i will be again looking forward to 19 See nineteen ninety five rather I will say beyond nineteen ninety five there will be further bullishness. Then my favorite ninety eight two thousand two zone is the greatest greatest resistance. If it stays above this, certainly the bulls will be taking over from there. If you look at a stock I think this has dropped. The MACD is on the verge of a crossover. Look at this, the retracement, and if it crosses over, it will bring more bearishness here. RSI looking downwards, trying to stay bearish. Coming to three. on the 3 hour chart it appears see the preceding candle has a downward push it has a long uh, wick on the upside and it is also given lower highs so lower highs lower lows and, and it has started from the flat bottom so from here also it can reverse but again buying entry is above 95 selling entry is below 83 in between this 12 dollars at least we should be exercising extra caution it can take any which ways it can take any which direction here The stock has ticked back to oversold. MACD here trying to converge crossover as well. Look at the formation: rise retracement, drop retracement, drop retracement, and if this crosses over, this can bring another round of bearishness here. RSI is comfortable. Coming to four R. Now see on the four R charts: flat bottom, then the rise, lower highs. Now it is almost on the verge of erasing all the gains here. specifically below 1983 you can treat that we are going to look at 78 80 zone and yes if you see it is staying below these levels then only further bearishness also if you look at the 4 hour charts drop retracement and now if it breaks it is going to bring major fall here also if you look at it is trying to stay in this channel the bottom of this channel on the 4 hour charts is somewhere here at around 1960 levels we have to be watchful of 1960 levels below 1970 certainly more bearishness is going to prevail 63 levels and 60 these two are going to remain the first support zone below 1970 stock has stick looking downwards trying to stay bearish macd is still in green it has not yet crossed over remember if you look at macd see on the 4 hour charts there is a different observation here you can look at it as almost hitting the bottom if it trades with divergence then uh, on the 4 hour charts the bulls are still there to stay hence we have to be watchful at least we are not going to take a direction not going to take a trade between 83 and 95 rsi looking downwards trying to stay bearish coming to if you look at daily charts you almost flat top and now they see there is a push from the top side here once it gravitates and gets a pull below 83 you can say I will at least watch out for seventy-eight, eighty zone. Very, very good support. Staying below this, I will be looking forward to nineteen sixty levels, nineteen sixty-three levels. Now, see, 
Uh, many times I have told you there is a divergence of price from the 20 period moving average. Now the 20 period moving average is sitting close to 1970-68. And that is why I say below 74-75, this is the first support zone where we are going to see good resistance there. And if it draws below, certainly 1960 levels cannot be denied here. Now, if you look at the stock elastic, this is retraced. Now, see the MACD here on the daily charts. It has just crossed over, trying to trade with little divergence. And mentioned, we I have mentioned here, see, these two crossovers, whenever it has seen such highs, it has seen a drop. Whenever it has seen such highs, it has seen a drop. Now, again, it has seen such highs here on MACD and it is coming with a smooth bulls out here. You can look at this rise and it is identically symmetrical rise. So a crossover from here can bring bearishness. Also, one must note that see the highs here were at around 2050-2075 zone and the lows when it dropped here were almost at around 1900-1920 levels. So yes, there could be a continuation of fall. We have to just watch out more carefully at current levels. RSI has dropped. Now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators and before I provide you the trading levels instead, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. 27th batch is going to start on 20th of November. Limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. You can also register by visiting my platform forexonda.com at and in the front page itself, you'll find the details of the mentorship batch. Just clicking on the tab, you'll find all the details which you require, timing, session, uh, curriculum, and what and all you will get here along with the tab to proceed with the payment. Also, uh, we had the first successful discussion uh, and webinar on our weekly market insights. Yesterday was the first session. The next session is going to be held next Sunday. You can book now it's uh, this is the webinar link here you can register here you can book your seats and this was definitely an insightful discussion here you will gain much more than what you expect from this session thus register for the next webinar now it's uh, and yes this platform is created with the vision to provide everything required by a trader in a one single umbrella be it the economic calendar where the uh, economic data across the globe is available here whenever there is a release the actual data the forecast and historical data is available here you can look for your favorite charts from across the globe these are live charts anything which is getting traded across the globe is available here you can do your own analysis and all the indicators and tools are available you can schedule a call if you need any guidance immediately while in the live markets you can schedule a call with me with respect to your any of your existing positions or if you want me to do an analysis analysis of any specific instrument yes uh, the discussion forum here is the most important thing where you get the uh, insights from my videos and also we can initiate the discussion with the like-minded traders i request everyone to just indulge in this uh, enriching experience where you learn from your the like-minded traders across the globe just join the discussion now we have seen the charts and indicators now looking at this it appears there could be slight bearishness in the gold prices today and See, only buying opportunity today is above 1995 levels. As long as 1995 is respected, I do not see the bullishness to prevail. But see, these are markets. We have to just stick to the levels beyond 1995. We can initiate a buy, but 98, 2002 is what you can look forward to. This is the maximum resistance zone for gold. If it stays above, then 2006, 2008 is the next. And beyond 2008, sky is the limit for gold. We are going to look at 2020 levels very very soon we have to watch out more closely how it behaves i expect a slight retracement before the rise here however we are still sticking to the levels once it breaks below 1983 that time you can take a sell position for 79 78 80 levels as the first target 74 75 as the next and then 1970 levels but below 1970 is where the bears will be taking over for 1962 60 zone is the first target and then more bearishness may prevail here. If it stays below 1960 to 60 levels, the target which I will be looking forward to is 1940 as the next stronger support. So take your trades accordingly. See you again before the US session with more details and live updates. Do like, share, subscribe and comment friends. Your every like, share, comment is a motivation for me to deliver twice a day updates here. Join my webinar, join my signals channel where trading as per the signals, you can definitely benefit. Reach out to me for more details on same. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead.